Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Listen, I said this before, and I'm repeating it. There are things you need to lose if you really want to win. Quick example. You have Stephanie. Stephanie has been sick for a while. She is now walking with supports for her legs. And sometimes she uses a wheelchair. And she really wants to get better. But then one day, a friend asked her, Stephanie, do you want to be relieved from the wheelchair and these supports? Or do you want to be delivered from being sick? And she thought about it and she said, you know what? I want to be healthy completely. The moment she decided she wanted to be healthy completely, some of her friends stopped calling her. Now, Stephanie was not a believer yet, but some of her friends stopped calling her. And she was thinking, what? What did I do wrong? She kept going. And eventually, she heard about Christ and she became born again. But after she was born again and she began to renew her mind, she thought back and thought, hold on a minute. Andreas, one of my friends, asked me, Jessica, do you want to be relieved from this wheelchair and these supports? Or do you want to be completely delivered from sickness? And I decided I want to be delivered from sickness completely. Suddenly, when I decided that, people started avoiding me. Look at what happened here. She wanted help, and that's a good thing. But that implies the sickness has to go. But what if that sickness is kept alive? And what if a sickness is supported by those that invest in it? What if she had people around her or certain relationships that enable that sickness to remain? Now, the moment she decided she wanted health, whatever contributed to the sickness had to go. So those relationships that contributed to her sick condition also began to, she began to fall apart. Eventually, she was completely healthy. She never needed a wheelchair nor supports anymore. She was also delivered from depression and all of that. But here's the thing, she lost some of those close friendships. People who used to be her best friends, with whom she used to hang out often, with whom she had l loving and kind memories, they were gone. It was all over, just like that. And she did not offend them. She did not do them any dirty. They just turned on her. What happened? She won. She is healthy, which is a very important thing. In order for her to be healthy, she had to lose sickness. So whatever kept the sickness had to go. Okay, another example. Let's say you are surrounded by financial difficulty. But in the midst of financial difficulty, you decree and speak abundance. If you are an unbeliever and you do this, well, you may have some demon that's going to lead you to some religion, some cult, to trap you further. But if you do this as a believer, let me tell you, you will experience sudden hostilities from people, even from strangers. You know why? Because those in society, they have submit themselves to mediocrity. They have submit themselves to irreality, which they hold on to as if it's reality. But now you have seen how irreality works out and how irreality affected you. And you want to be free from irreality. That means that everyone that holds on to irreality now has to face reality through you because you overrule irreality. But those that hold on to irreality Irreality, as if irreality is the reality, they're going to become upset. Because now you are overcoming. Now you will operate in financial abundance. Not on your terms, but on Christ's terms. But it will happen. And others will have to, let's say, they will be confronted with your influence and your impact on the community. And they don't want this. So now, even now, you didn't even open your business, you didn't even write your business plan. You didn't even have business parcels yet. Things haven't manifested materially yet. But yet already, 
people are reacting against you as if what you prayed for has already happened. Now that is a sign that you are on the right track. Because often when believers pray, they expect some kind of support and warm welcome to come through other people. I'm telling you, let that go. Because there are times you pray and you get this warm welcome as you've been drawn in. But who says that drawing in is from Christ? Who said that prayer of yours was in line with Christ to begin with? When you are walking by faith, your prayers will, your prayers will develop over time. So, when you walk by faith, you will reflect back on certain prayers you had in your thing. This prayer was not in line with Christ. This prayer had a lot of um, side effects if it would have worked out. That's how you grow. That's how you continue. But a lot of folks, they want the instant warm welcome. And you, and you can get an instant warm welcome, but I'm not certain whether it will be God's will. Look, to walk by faith means that you don't know the details of how things will work out. You just know things will work out for your good no matter what. And that's why you're motivated to be supernaturally active. So, that's it for now. I agree with Christ and be at peace.